morning and how are you? Brilliant, fantastic to see you. Today's recipe is a very, very simple one, but it is amazing because it's quick to ferment and quick to mature. And this recipe is ideal for beginners to help fill up your wine rack with your homemade wine, your home brew, early on in your winemaking hobby. It is fruity tea bag wine. This recipe is so simple. And that is one of the main reasons I love making this wine is that it's so quick to ferment and mature. Along with the easiness of it and the whole variety of tea bags available to you in the shops. This recipe is also going to be the basis of a few experiments that I'm running. So I'm so excited about this brew and you wait until you see these experiments. They are something I've never ever thought of answering before. So hopefully they can be fantastic. And those videos will be down the line when the experiments have been concluded. So, fruity tea bag wine. Yes, first thing we need is grab yourself 20 tea bags of whatever variety you fancy. Your choice is your wine. You grab whatever tea bags you fancy. But I'm using cranberry and raspberry simply because they were the cheapest ones in the co-op at the time. They were offer two for something or other. So I have 20 cranberry and raspberry tea bags. You also need a kilo and a half of sugar. Now a kilo and a half will give you a decent wine about 11 and a half, 12 percent. You can add more if you like a stronger wine, add more if you fancy a weaker wine, work out your yeast tolerance to alcohol and push the boundaries if you so wish. Your choice, your call, your wine. But I find a kilo and a half is a very good basis for a decent wine that suits the flavour of the fruity tea bags. So grab yourself a kilo and a half of sugar and pour it straight into your saucepan. With a kilogram and a half of sugar in your pot, you're only pouring your 20 tea bags into the pot on top of the sugar. Fantastic, so simple this type of recipe. You just shove it all in the pot and then we're going to bring it to the boil. So simple, this type of recipe. Says he who's struggling to open a box of tea bags. Anyway, so grab your 20 tea bags and just simply throw them straight into your pot on top of the sugar. So simply pour over four litres of boiling water into your stock pot with a kilo and a half of sugar and your 20 chosen tea bags. Fantastic. With the water added to your stock pot, you want to bring it to the boil and then let it simmer for about 20 minutes. Let it steep, let those tea bags release the juice. Give it a stir so the sugar does not catch the bottom of your pan. I'll be back with you once this has come to the boil and simmered for about 20 minutes and I'm going to go and have a brew. See you soon. With your wonderful tea all brewed up and it's been simmering for about 20 minutes, you want to let it cool and then once it's cooled, we can move on and then we can start taking those tea bags out of the pot and drain that lovely red, what tells what kind of tea bags you're using. Because why not red tea bags? I get a red flavour colour tea. Yes, red flavour. So we need to remove those tea bags from that liquid. And it is as simple as it sounds. You just strain the mouse. Then grab yourself your funnel and insert it into the demijohn top and pour the liquid into the demijohn. You may wish to remove a lot of that headspace in the demijohn now if you fancy. So just top it up with cold water. But ideally, you want to leave a bit of space in there ready for when that yeast gets all active and has its major, major party in there, which it should do, which it will do. It's going to have a great time fermenting all that sugar into alcohol. Brilliant. And now we just need to put in one teaspoon of yeast nutrient and one teaspoon of yeast. Now I'm going to be using Young's dried yeast for this particular wine. Partly because I'm doing a few experiments and we'll make up more batches of this later and I want everything to be controlled. So I'm using the same yeast throughout my experiments. And also this wine does not call for any yeast that is too amazing. Just a bog standard wine yeast works wonders for the tea bag wine. So sprinkling one teaspoon of yeast nutrients and one teaspoon of yeast. Fantastic. Now we just need to insert 
a plain airlock into the neck, into the mouth of the demijohn, and set it aside in a warm place for three, four, five days until the yeast has had a chance to have a major party. Then we can top it up all the way and let it carry on fermenting. Now this wine does ferment pretty rapidly. It won't take long for it to be finished. So give it two weeks, maybe three weeks, depending on the temperature of the environment it's in. The warmer, the better, but not hot. Let it ferment away, then let it mature for another three, four weeks, and it'll be perfect, ready within, say, two months to drink. And of course, don't just stop at one gallon of it. If you can make a five gallon batch, brilliant. Go for it, fill up your wine rack, fill up your larder, fill up your cupboard. You may as well make a heap of this wine ready for the silly festive season. It's so easy to make, it's so cheap. And whilst your wine does ferment away, why don't you go and check out this video up by here, which I've chosen just for you. You have a great day now and I'll see you really soon.